Among home batteries, Powerwall is probably the most popular. But what are the alternatives when you don't want a Powerwall or you can't find it? Hi, my name is Jason. And today we're going to be looking at home batteries that you can use instead of Powerwall. Now, the reason that I wanted to make this video is the situation that I'm in right now. You see, the grid in my area is very unstable and power outages are constant. My colleagues told me to get a power wall, but I wanted to explore more options before making the decision. So before we get into the list, let's just recap some of the things about Tesla Powerwall so that we have a baseline to work from. This home battery powers your home when the grid goes down and it also allows peak shaving when you sell energy into the grid for a higher rate. Right now, it comes for $9,200 before incentives, installation and shipping. For a 13 and a half kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, it's not too expensive. It has a five kilowatt power rating, which is how much you can draw from a battery at a time. Powerwall comes with a 10 year warranty and Tesla guarantees that it will retain at least 70% of its capacity within this period. Previously, you could only buy a Powerwall with solar panels, but lately Tesla offers the battery as is for some regions. Usually Powerwall can only be charged by solar, but last year some users reported that they were able to charge it from the grid. In my opinion, the biggest problem with Powerwall is the small supply and Tesla's poor customer service in general. So what are batteries that can be used instead of Powerwall? Well, here's the list of the best options that I've come up with. So the first one that I want to talk about is LG Chem Rescue Battery. The most similar to Powerwall would be 10H and 16H Prime variations. One has 9.6 kilowatt hours capacity with a 5 kilowatt power rating. The other one is at 16 kilowatt hour capacity and a 7 kilowatt power rating. You can connect two units in parallel to get bigger storage if you like. Now, according to the warranty list, these models should retain at least 70% of their capacity for 10 years. I was able to find a 10H variation battery set for a little above $7,000 and a 16H set for a little under 10 grand. A set consists of two battery modules and a control unit, which is basically the brain of the battery. So it is a little cheaper than Powerwall and it's more efficient as well, at least on paper. The key difference is that LG offers a DC battery, so you always need an inverter so it can power your appliances. Now, as far as I understand, the inverter has to be hybrid, so it doesn't shut down in case of a power outage and instead switches your house to battery backup. Look, overall, it looks like a great option to me. By the way, if you want to learn more about different types of solar systems, I encourage you to go and check out our free guide. It's a great thing for newcomers to solar and it will help save money when getting your own installation done. I'll leave a link in the description. Next, we have Generac PowerCell. Now this system consists of a cabinet with three to six battery modules in it. The minimum capacity is nine kilowatt hours and each battery module increases it by three. You can get 18 kilowatt hour capacity with a single cabinet and the power ranges from 3.4 kilowatts to 6.7, of course, depending on the number of battery modules. If you want, you can get two cabinets and increase the overall capacity to a maximum of 36 kilowatt hours. Now, just like Powerwall and LG Battery, it comes with a 10-year warranty. The model gets favorable reviews, and people say that the switch from grid to battery support in case of a power outage is very clean. PowerCell is 7% to 10% more efficient than Powerwall. The big problem with PowerCell is its cost. People say that the 9 kilowatt hour variation comes at around $10,000. To me, even that seems optimistic because the lowest price I found online is $12,000. Look, maybe I looked in the wrong places, who knows. But each battery module adds about two grand. And I didn't include incentives in the calculation. I didn't account for installation either. Again, it's a DC battery and you will need an inverter to use it. It doesn't allow cross-brand components either. So if you buy the Generac power cell, you'll have to use an inverter from Generac as well. I also saw a lot of people suggesting Sonnen Ecolinx 12 as a good home battery. It's an AC battery, just like Powerwall, and it's scalable from 12 to 20 kilowatt hours in two kilowatt hour increments. You can also get a single 30 kilowatt hour size. Regardless of capacity, the power rating is at seven kilowatts off grid and eight kilowatts grid time. 
battery is easy to add to an existing solar system and owners say that it is easy to use and very responsive. But what stands out about it most is its high quality. Sonnen is a German brand and it offers a 15-year warranty. The battery should withstand at least 15,000 cycles. Frankly, it's a lot, more than any other manufacturer on our list offers. The problem though is its unbelievably high price. It costs at least $30,000 straight up. But the redeeming thing about it is that it's going to outlast everything else on this list. Moving on. The next alternative I found was Enphase IQ Battery 10. It's an all-in-one AC coupled system. It consists of three base IQ Battery 3 units and has a total usable energy capacity of 10 kilowatt hours. You can stack up to four IQ 10 units. 12 embedded microinverters together provide a little under 4 kilowatt power rating in an off-grid situation. It is slightly less than Powerwall, and to me it even feels like there will just be enough power only for the essential appliances in case of an outage. The battery itself costs around eight dollars to $9,000, which is similar to Powerwall, albeit slightly cheaper, and it comes with a 10-year or 4,000 cycle warranty. Enphase guarantees that the battery will maintain at least 70% of its capacity to hold the charge during that time period. You can extend the warranty period by five years, but for a fee. Enphase software has always been very good and the system should be easy to manage. Now, the last model that I want to talk about is the Panasonic Evervolt 2.0. On the surface, it looks really cool. It has a capacity from 17 to 25.6 kilowatt hours with an output of 7.6 kilowatts off-grid and 9.6 kilowatts on-grid. Panasonic offers a 10-year warranty for it and says that it can be installed outside, unlike Evervolt 1.0. It comes with a smartphone app so you can track your power consumption and optimize the stored energy. LFP batteries are known for their safety and high efficiency. But the problem is that there is really not a lot of info on it yet. It seems like Panasonic has released it, but I found no reviews online, no installation reports, and even Reddit is almost silent on this one. But what's worse, I found no actual price, even on the Panasonic website. I'll send them a message to see what they have to offer. Some websites say that it's going to cost from $15,000 to $20,000 before incentives. If that's true, well, I guess it is a good price, given that it's twice the capacity of a Powerwall, if you have any experience actually using a Panasonic Evervolt 2.0, please let me know in the comments below. And that's it. That's my list of Powerwall alternatives and I'm going to continue to study them to make the best choice. Let me know what you think. What batteries do you use? And what's your opinion on them? Feel free to ask questions and we'll get back to you. And also please go and check out our free guide on saving money with solar energy, our magazine and our socials. I'm Jason, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.